Welcome back to Freshly Charged, where today I'm reviewing the Man Motion Luba Mini All-Wheel Drive Robot Lawnmower. So who is the Man Motion Luba Mini All-Wheel Drive for? If you have a house that has steep terrain, has grass that's divided by rocks like river rock or mulch, and there's varying terrain that it has to travel through, the all-wheel drive system on the Mini is the way to go because most robot lawnmowers are going to get stuck in that type of terrain. And this thing is pretty awesome, but more importantly, what I'm going to cover today is the top 10 tips of how to set up a robot lawnmower. And number one thing you need to be aware of is you need to have some patience. If you don't have any patience, you're gonna regret buying a robot lawnmower and it's just gonna end up being a heavy paperweight. So be patient, take your time to set it up correctly, and then you can ultimately save time with the robot lawnmower. The second tip I have for you is clearly read the instructions. So a good example of this is where the RTK station is gonna go. That's super important because if you have it too close to your house, you're gonna have to redo the whole map. Another important thing is making sure you set up the base correctly in a zone that it can dock itself. Sometimes if you don't leave enough room, it can't go back home and recharge itself, it causes a lot of issues and you have to redo the whole process. So take your time, make sure you read the instructions clearly and set up the RDK and base station to where you don't have to redo the whole process again. Let's go ahead and do a quick walkthrough of this unit. On the front, there's this bumper bar that stops the unit if it does bump into something. You have all wheel drive, so there's a motor in every single tire. This can climb hills, go over obstacles. The main reason why I need this unit is in the backyard, I actually have this gravel in between these paths that this has to climb over and the Luba is always one of the best ones to do it. Also has suspension. It's pretty cool how this thing works. So you can see how that suspension compresses on there. Really sweet stuff that we don't see on a lot of mowers. You've got this front vision camera which two cameras and also a rain sensor on top. An emergency stop button in case you need to stop it in the middle of a mowing session. Power button, start button, home and also the grass button. You can always get it home just by pressing the home button and start and it'll find its way back. Really sleek looking machines. These almost look like mini race cars. They're so cool looking. But let's go ahead and check out what it looks like on the bottom of it. The reason why you would get this mower is you have a smaller yard. On the other Luba all-wheel drive, the large version has two cutting discs. This actually only has one. And surprisingly, this is a lot more open than we've seen in the past. A lot of times these are enclosed spaces. So I think that's actually kind of smart. It'll shoot out the grass clippings, evenly disperse it so you can fertilize your lawn. These front wheels have motors as well as the rear motors, but these front tires have these little spins spinning discs that help prevent it from getting stuck and can be turning left and right. Helps with pivoting the machine if it needs to make some tight turns. On the rear, you have these rubber tires, really heavy duty stuff that we don't see on a lot of the other electric lawnmowers. In the past with Man Motion, we've realized that they make some very durable items, very cool looking items as well, but not only are they durable and cool looking, they perform well. On the side, there's some really nice rubberized grips that are soft on the hands. On a lot of these electric lawnmowers, where you grab isn't very comfortable this is soft, almost like velvety soft. You can remove the battery and change it out if you need to. And then back here is where you're gonna find an area for you to put a SIM card in case you wanna track it. But that's a quick walkthrough of it. Very sleek looking as you can see. Let's go ahead and see how this performs. So let's go ahead and just start this mapping thing. Tip number four is keep adjusting the map as you go along. This is one thing that people fail to do is they think that, oh, I've set up the map, I wasn't greedy, there's no way this is gonna get stuck and it does get stuck in certain spots. So what you wanna do is adjust the map edges to prevent it from running into those issues in the future. Tip number five is utilizing no-go zones. They are by far your biggest friend when setting up your lawnmowers. A lot of times you'll find that your robot lawnmowers will get stuck on the most mysterious things. Maybe there's some type of border around trees. By setting up no-go zones, you're gonna reduce the number of interactions you have to do with the robot lawnmower and save you time. See, there's a theme here. Time is money and all these things will save you time if you pay attention. Get familiar with your app. All these robot lawnmowers have an app and you can control a lot of different things from it, like the way it mows and the pattern. So you can have it do a zigzag pattern. You can have it do a cross pattern where it actually mows it twice. So many different things from even making a heart shape in it. But more importantly would be like the height adjustment. You wanna make sure that you're correctly adjusting it for the type of mowing that you want it to do. Sometimes if you don't adjust the app and you just go to mow it, what will end up happening is it may cut it too short, killing the lawn in that particular area. Tip number seven is scheduling it based off of when you're gonna be around. I like to set the schedule so it mows when I'm home that if it does happen to get stuck, I can go and easily move it. The other reason why you don't wanna mow at certain times is like nighttime. It causes issues with most of these robot lawn mowers. Their vision is reduced because it's dark outside and they're more likely to get stuck. So I like to set it in like early morning when it's nice and bright and I'm home to move it if I need to, or after work hours when I'm still there, but before dusk. And as you can see, my lawn's looking pretty good right now. The Mad Motion Luba Mini has been mowing my lawn for the past month and a half. It's been doing a great job, very minimal 
minimal times that it's getting stuck, but let's go ahead and just dive into what I love about this machine. I really love how Mad Motion does their packaging job and unboxing experience. We've never had any issues with one of the robot lawnmowers coming damaged from Mad Motion, and their instructions are extremely clear of how to set up the machine. The biggest thing for me is that it has an all-wheel drive system, so it reduces the times that it gets stuck. I also really enjoy that I can adjust the height of the mowing through the app. Some of these robot lawnmowers require you to manually adjust the height. It is kind of annoying to deal with, so I do love that I can just simply adjust it through the app with a click of a button. Mad Motion makes one of the best apps that we've ever used for a robot lawnmower. Mad Motion apps typically always work, and they also send you notification if it ever happens to get stuck. I love that this comes with a front-facing light for nighttime mowing. I still do prefer to mow it during the day, but it doesn't get stuck nearly as much as the other robot lawnmowers simply because it has an additional light in the front. The mowing quality is really great. The mower does an excellent job of cutting defined lines in the lawn, as long as you cut every two to three days. And then there's not a sexier lawnmower out there than what Mad Motion is producing. These mowers look like mini race cars. Just stunning and a great conversation starter, which is one of my things I love about this. I've met more neighbors from my robot lawnmower than any of the other toys that we've tested and reviewed on the channel. And the best part about the Mad Motion Luba all-wheel drive is it helps you save time if you follow my tips. So make sure be patient with it, set it up correctly, and you're gonna love the machine. Tip number nine is mow more frequently. A lot of times people wanna think, oh, I only need to mow once a week. I think you should be mowing with the robot lawnmower every two to three days, and even possibly daily. The reason being is most robot lawnmowers just use small little razor blades to cut. And what it's doing is cutting just a little bit off the top and throwing the clippings back in to fertilize the lawn. If you wait too long, the lawn is not gonna look as clean. A more frequent cut is gonna make it look like a pristine yard and help fertilize more often. But it's not perfect, so let me go ahead and tell you what could be improved on the machine. The biggest issue I have with the Luba Mini is they charge you $209 for the garage, which is a piece of plastic that sits over the top of it. It should come standard with the machine, especially for the price point. In the year of 2025, we ran into mowers that could actually self-map. However, the Mad Motion Luba Mini was not very good at auto mapping. I found that it was really sporadic. Even though there was clear borders like the cement and the grass, it still couldn't create a straight line for the auto mapping system, so I feel like they need to improve that. Another issue that I've been running into is that the app has been a little bit glitchy and it's only for the Mad Motion Luba Mini. My Yuka and my full size Luba doesn't have any glitches in the app and I've made sure that I've had the most up-to-date app so I'm not sure exactly what's going on but I do presume that they will fix that over time. And then my last issue and this is an exclusive to Mad Motion Luba Mini. With an RTK station it can lose satellite connection when it gets cloudy and even at nighttime for some reason. I don't know what happens at nighttime that affects RTK stations and if you know leave a comment down below. And my final tip is get a good trimmer. You're gonna have to do a little bit of trimming. I like to use an electronic trimmer that has an auto feed system so I don't have to waste time feeding the line in. So I'm all about saving time and if you follow these 10 tips you're gonna make your life a lot easier with a robot lawnmower. Thanks for tuning in. Check out our full run review at freshlycharged.com and make sure that when you purchase a robot lawnmower follow my 10 tips so you can actually save some time.